I'm going to tell you about Lily's Ghost. Lily's Ghost is about these two kids who try and to find out Lily's mystery. Lily's um, history about her family. She has an Uncle Max who's haunting her house. She doesn't know why, neither does her friend Baz do. So she's trying to, um, trying to figure that out. Baz and Lily become really close in the book, and because her and Baz, like, actually connect for adventure, and, yeah, she doesn't really like to come to this plain old town in, um, she came from Mount Clare, New Jersey to Cape May, Maine, so it's kind of a big difference. And so, yeah, the only reason she moved was because her mother owns a jewelry store and then she had to be transferred to Cape May. The back is really good. I think that's why me and my partner picked it. If you, I'll read it, for, I'll read it to you. A hoist of a ghost, a sinister old house, an intriguing new friend. A 50-year-old mystery and a tag team of disgruntled, disgruntled ghosts force 13-year-old Lily to unearth her family's deepest secret in this multi-layer tale that's both hilarious and harrowing, comic and creepy. I think the back is super descriptive with the bolded letters. See, it's sinister, mystery, ghost, secrets, hilarious, and creepy. I think those are like the main parts of the back, so that's why they bolded them. I also think that the title, the kind of picture of the front, kind of gives it like, not really, a good vibe. I think it should be about, like the picture should be about some kids and a, like a treasure and Uncle Max like a treasure box or like Uncle Max or something. I don't know. So I hope that you'll read Lily's Ghost. I hope you'll read Lily's Ghost.